I'd never seen anything like this on a baseball field before. So everyone's slapping hands like normal. Ooh. Jeez. What would get someone so mad that they had to hit you? I don't care how long I've played this game. I played this game from the age of five years old. And even when I was playing professionally, the game didn't mean that much where it was everything to me, where I needed to hit someone to get out my frustration. Now, there are times where you get frustrated in baseball and you wanna throw your helmet, you wanna throw your bat, but actually hit someone, what would get you to that point? That right there is insane to me. And I don't, um, I wouldn't imagine these kids are out in the field talking crap to each other nonstop. I'm sure there's a little bit of chatter, but it's not like playing professionally where you got the hecklers and you got the guys on the field talking crap to you. But in this situation, what would get a kid so upset that he just throws a haymaker and knocks a kid out? Look at this old guy right there. Ooh. That was it's a clean. glorious moment for everybody, and we will see the handshakes because that is truly what sportsmanship is. Ooh, all that about. was clean and in the face. It was, that was clean. It was a great game, folks. This was that was dead right into the face. Sucker punch, kid giving high five, and just right across his face. You know. I want to know what you guys think about this. Like, what is it that would make a kid do that? Again, I'm saying this, but, you know, you think about social media. Kids are always on it, talking crap to each other. And then they just have this built up frustration. And then all of a sudden, here you go. Boom. You know, you get this situation right here. Terrific. And there is the sportsmanship that we are talking about, as we will see really do you see a handshake line in slow motion Ooh. oh wow one that of was the clear Benson right across the face knocked down the scottsdale christian wow that's terrible i was talking about what if there's some scouts in the stands what's the scout saying they're just writing him off the list right now and that's sad to me because what if that player was good what if this player was good enough to go to college and play or even play professionally I'm now if he was really 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 good like to the point of you know being drafted and to change a program then they probably will say you know forget it and they'll just overlook it but if he's a borderline player and he has the chance to go play at the next level and there's a college scout there in the stands they're they're marking him off they're marking him off you better have insane talent if you're going to be able to do this and market yourself like this to the world especially when there's cameras all over the place all over the place you got a camera here you know there's people up there right now with their cameras out um, there's so many angles where you you can see this clear as day you can know who exactly uh, who exactly it is so I'm really sad i'm really saddened by you know this situation because um he could have just ruined his whole career and the other kid i'm sad too because he just got knocked out you know what i mean and like that's no good you know you he's just doing his thing you know and and happy about his night and now he just got you know basically meaned which is sad very very sad so i'm hoping you know he's okay and uh yeah it's crazy crazy world Sportsmanship all this time, and that is terrible. Oh, what was that all about? And then he just keeps running like, what world are we living in? This is sad. He just haymakers him. He falls to the ground. We heard that the kid who punched the other kid did so because he would, wouldn't would move when runners were taking their lap earlier in that video. Just what in the world's happening to our manners and our patience? You know, I think 
people aren't getting trouble for their actions nowadays it's like easily you can easily just throw it on somebody else like oh it was their fault like no one's taking responsibility for their actions at all and i think that's the issue um, if you want to be a great athlete, if you want to be a great uh, baseball player, if you want to be someone successful, you have to take responsibility for your life, your actions. So um, in these situations, we're not taking responsibility and we're letting everybody have a pass. And, you know, that's promoting situations like this where it's going to keep happening, where you're going to be out in the field and someone's going to dislike what you said and they're just going to come up and hit you and there and then everyone's going to stop you. So the kid just gets away with it or a person gets away with it. That's my two cents. That's what I believe. Now, you shouldn't be having your phone and just walk up to a ref and just start recording them. I don't even know if this is illegal, but it should be illegal. I, I feel like if people are recording you without your permission, that should be illegal. That's just my, you know, it's okay if it's like a harmless, you know, situation. But like, he's trying to make a joke of this referee. And since he's trying to make a joke, that should be illegal. So of course he's going to get upset about this situation because you're, you're basically instigating them. Like, what do you expect the lion to do? If you're tempting the lion. What do you think the lion's going to do? Lion's going to come at you and, and try to eat you. You get what I'm saying. Boom. He just smacks him. Ooh. Ooh. Now we got kids fighting. So sad. What a world we're living in. Ooh. Jeez. Dang. All those people should get fined. Everyone should get fined. This should, that's an assault on all ends. Ooh, 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 came up with a body shot. Jeez. You know what I think? I think from watching this video, child sports are the most dangerous thing in the world. Stay away from them, don't play basketball, don't play baseball. It's crazy out here. Parents are too emotionally involved. Uh, they want their kids to be the number one star. You got the, uh, you have the uh, kids that are too emotionally involved. They don't see it as a game anymore. It's their job, it's their career, and they're like 15, 16 years old. It's crazy out here. Is this the death of sports? Are we just about to go into the VR world? I just bought an Oculus, uh, Oculus Quest 2. It's crazy. That world's crazy. It's insane. You could get lost in that world. Are we just going to be going there? I don't know. I want to know your thoughts. Comment below.